Yo, what's going on, Young Kings? My name is Nelson K. Johnson, and I am a music producer and songwriter, and I specialize in a very, very unique sector of the music industry. Now, this sector of the music industry has allowed me to have my music in shows like Love and Hip Hop, Growing Up Hip Hop, Real Housewives, and you've probably even heard my music on the NFL or during the NBA playoff games. Um, I've had music on networks like VH1, MTV, and Nickelodeon, just to name a few. I've also been able to have music played in movies that aired on our own network and on Fox, and you've probably heard my music in AMC theaters before. So with that being said, we are going to drop some gems on you today about sync licensing. Now, if you've ever watched TV and wondered where do they get that music in the background from, how do they get it, who's actually making it, that's where I come in, okay? Sync licensing happens when you give entities like movies, films, TV shows, or even video games, you give them a license to use your music, okay? So you're giving them permission to use your songs that you created. And the dope part about that is that you get paid for that. And not only do you get paid once, you get paid time and time again, quarter after quarter, if your business is set up right, you get what we call performance royalties from that music being used on those networks and in those films and video games, okay? Again, if you, if you have to, go ahead and grab a pen and a piece of paper um, to take some notes, but it's called sync licensing, or you might hear the term music licensing. And again, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them below, okay? Now, a little bit more about how I got into licensing, okay? I'm a music creator. You know, making beats, writing a song has always been a thing of mine. And it has really given me that opportunity to be creative on a large scale without taking a traditional route, say being a rapper or being a singer, okay? So it's allowed me to take the background and still get my music heard and still get my art out there to the world, okay? So I encourage you to really, really think about that because at the end of the day, we're all not gonna be ready for the big stage. We're all not gonna be the famous rapper we all may not be the next jay-z or drake or even beyonce okay so you really have to think about that and there's always another way to get to where you want to go and i've learned that over the years because my end goal has always been the same i wanted my music to be heard by people across the world i wanted my music to be heard i wanted my art to be heard and appreciated okay and of course i started you know and i did the rap thing before uh, my drop mixtapes um, i've performed before and it was all fun but that just wasn't really how i wanted to approach it okay after doing some research and linking up with some friends i really really started to study the game of music licensing okay so when i got into it it was really hard to um, get the information because it wasn't readily available okay and people really didn't want to share that info and that's what brings me here today sharing this info with you so things that are important when it comes to licensing is um, communication okay you have to be a good communicator in order to get your point across in order to get what you need out of these situations you know you have to know who to contact and how to contact them you have to have all of the proper information you also have to have all of your ducks in a row in a sense um, meaning that you have to be prepared before you talk to these key players so what does that even look like to be prepared before you talk to the key players you want to make sure your music is ready you want to make sure that you have quality music you want to make sure that you have at least watched some of these shows or movies that you would like your music in so that you know that it fits okay and so that way when you reach out and you get a response from someone you already have what they're needing and you're ready to provide value because you have did your research and your due diligence on what they need for their shows and their films and their commercials okay um the other part of that is knowing who to talk to so we have in this industry what we call music supervisors 
Now, these are the people who are responsible for picking the music. Then you have music editors. These are the people who are responsible for making sure that those mixes and those songs fit perfectly in the film or in the even the movie trailer or these TV shows. Then you have people like the directors, of course, who put everything together and their vision is coming to life. So these are the people that you really need to consider getting to know if you're looking to get into um, music licensing and you're in it for the long haul to build these relationships. Um, along the way, it's really been a challenge for me specifically because you know, people didn't want to share that information. And because of that, I had to do my due diligence and do the research. So I had to do a lot of groundwork. I had to do a lot of communicating and a lot of reaching out. And because of that, I feel that it has made me a stronger person mentally and it has made me a more responsible person as well when it comes to handling the business on the music side, which is another important part. Because once you handle the business and once you understand the business side of things, it's going to make it way easier. And this is even one of the pillars of Real Manhood 101. You have to expect a greater reward. And that mentality has really helped me because I've always been an optimistic person. It's not always easy, but I've always been an optimistic person, meaning that when someone tells me no, I don't look at it that way, right? And there's a saying that no means next opportunity. So when people tell you no, when you're trying to break into the sync licensing industry, just think that you have another opportunity out there to move to. It is delayed, not denied. So I incorporate all of these into my attitude because you're going to get a lot of no's and you're going to get denied a lot of times, but it should never, ever stop your journey. I'm going to give you guys a super quick tip, right? One of the tips that I use to study is I watch a show, um, let's say Growing Up Hip Hop, for example, okay? So I watch the show and I analyze the music, okay? I'm not so much paying attention to what's happening on screen or how it's happening. I'm just listening to the music so that way it's not something that's new to me okay so I'm listening to the vibes I'm listening to the music and I'm using that to my advantage because now if I want to get music on that show and I meet the right people I already have exactly what they need and what they're using okay so that's gonna help everyone that's gonna help speed up the process okay a few things that can help you get started right now in licensing um, the first thing is go research simply look up sync licensing and start doing your research okay the next action step that you can take to get started in sync licensing right now is start preparing your music you cannot license out your music to shows if you don't have it okay so start creating start creating music start watching these shows getting in the groove and creating music in those vibes so that you're prepared all right so that's two action steps for you right now do your research and start creating your music now the next thing that you have to do now is start changing your mindset get out of the mindset of having that instant gratification get out of that mindset because licensing is a super long-term game things aren't going to happen for you overnight and things are really going to start rolling in after you get into this rhythm and that's the dope part about it you can make a beat today or you can write a song today and it's going to continue to pay you over and over again so just think about it you have to make the track one time and it's going to pay you over and over again but don't get that twisted okay i like to say that licensing is kind of like the stock market you want to use your music as the currency and the shows and the films those are the stocks so you want to take your music and you want to invest that into shows that have long runs that have reruns and shows that are popular because then you know people are going to continue to watch them okay because when people don't watch the shows then you're not going to make any money all right so always remember that to um kind of use that analogy that sync licensing is kind of like the stock market in a sense and again i really really want you guys to take those three action steps research create the music and really start changing your mindset so you can kick the door down and get into 
the sync industry because a lot of people are jumping on board and it's for a very very good reason okay you can even build your resume that way right so just think about being able to tell your friends and your family members that hey you have music on this brand new show or you have music on this video game or you have this music in a movie right just think how proud they will be of you and how proud you will be of yourself because you really went the distance so again my name is nelson k johnson and if you have any questions make sure you drop them below in the chat and also make sure that you reach out to me and i'll be here to answer any questions that you may have and i'm also looking forward to your success all right peace <laughs>